Hi you guys and welcome to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to tie the Koberklimpen. For this fly I'm using a Kamasan B175 hook and I've tied it with ice dub, uh, dubbing in the front. Start off by putting a hook in the vise. Um, for this fly I'm going to tie with copper wire. This is a very thin, uh, thin copper wire from Ultrawire. Start off a couple of millimeters behind the hook eye and try to hold the copper wire tight to lock the thread in. This could be a little bit tricky, but as long as you hold it tight, it will, will not be a problem for you. And advance the thread to about the middle of the hook and uh, snip off the excess. And then you want to advance the copper wire so it's aligned with the hook point. And uh, for a tail I'm using mallard. These are flank feathers. And about a little bit longer than the than the hook length and tie them in at the back. Now, this could be a little bit tricky but as soon as you get uh, locked it down it's, it seems to work okay. Tie in the feathers, make sure they are on the top of the hook and all the way back so the copper wire is between the hook point and the barb. And then we're gonna tie in some pearl. Yeah, this is um, some opal uh, pearl flash in a small size. And when you take it off, they are, they are quite curly, so you can stretch them a little bit so they will straighten out. And snip off a small piece and tie in one on each side, as you see here. Take a couple of turns and tie in one on the other side. Take the tail and align the copper wire with the barb and try to cross it and go back again. And then you can snip off the pearl about the half length of the tail. Right there. And then you can snip off the waist of the mallard. And then you're going to advance your copper thread to about the middle of the hook. Try to keep the copper wire touching touch. And here I'm going to tie in ice dub copper. And I'm actually going to dub straight onto the copper wire. Make sure to make a nice dubbing ball. And uh, do not uh, go all the way to the front. Be sure to leave about two or three millimeters behind the hook guy because we're going to tie in um, a front hacker. So make a nice dubbing ball and tie off your copper wire. And for that I'm actually going to use a tying thread. Snip off the waist. And you can just take your copper wire up like that and snip it off and take some good hard turns to secure the copper wire and you can just snip it off or just break it off like this and now you're ready for your front tackle and for this I'm using just a cheap Chinese rooster 
uh, neck and uh, it's a ginger color. And the size of the hackle is up to yourself. I like to have a, a quite big hackle so it pulses. So you can choose what you want. So tie in the hackle by the tip. So the shorter fibers will support the longer fibers. Fold the tip back. Break it off by pulling it. And take uh, two or three turns, all depending on the quality of the hackle and how much you want on your fly. I think I'm taking about four, three, four turns. Yeah. Yeah, that's enough. And just tie it off. Taking a couple of nice firm wraps. Just fold it back and make a nice head. And and you can just go straight in with your whip finish tool. And what I'm doing now, I'm just I'm just uh, using a, uh, a permanent marker in an orange color to make the head orange and make a nice nice head and snip off your thread and you can snip off the waist or just pull it off and there you go that's the Klimpen and of course finish off with some varnish so yeah I'm um, thanks for watching you guys and and uh, and uh, thanks for all the comments uh, on these videos uh, I think th I think this works great and now I don't have to film both of the movies at, uh, two times you know so yeah so okay thanks for watching and I'll see you in the, my next video goodbye